Uh-huh. Yeah. Here at College of the Redwoods, they've begun practice for the fall and winter season of basketball with the Corsairs. Here are some of the Corsair students and their questions for Coach Rick Mendoza. Where are you from? I'm Shaquille. I'm from Oakland, California. Back to the hood. My name it? is Rennell Gary from Long Beach, California. Uh, I got recruited from Mendoza about two years ago. This is my third year. Played one year, redshirted a year. And uh, I don't know, uh, me and Mendo Mendoza are real cool, so, you know, I know he can get us connect to the next level. I'm trying to take to the next level of basketball. I'm so Ross, <laughs> Portland, Oregon. Uh, actually, I came here because the teacher told me to come here, and I just decided to play basketball in the summer. How about you? Cleveland Mitchell from Berkeley, California. What brings me here is that uh, I've been talking to Coach uh, all year, uh, all year long, before when I was in high school. So uh, yeah, I just decided to come up here. I was supposed to go to the academy, so that's, that's what that was. And just trying to better myself as a basketball player. Um, what's your outlook at this season? I, look, I think we, we should improve off of last year's team, which we won uh, the conference last year. We finished 15th in the state. Um, we're quicker and deeper on paper, and so I, I look to have a, a better season and probably a little different style, but, but hopefully a little more exciting. What do you try to teach your guys on and off the court with lessons of life? Well, I think for me, everything I learned off the court was kind of a lesson through basketball. So everything I learned on the court related to something off the court. So, um, you know, I think if you kind of learn to play within yourself, learn your strength and your weaknesses, and kind of stay away from your weaknesses and stick to your strengths and uh, communicate well and, and are, are a team player, you're going to be successful on and off the court. Um, in the news, there's been uh, stories about children getting hurt playing basketball, and they're talking about head injuries. And what do you, what do you think about uh, that in say like junior high or grade school the basketball programs using helmets or something like that to protect the children? Well, I'd, I'd cut football programs before I put helmets on basketball players. So, um, no, I, I think it's unfortunate. I think it's kind of a price of doing business. And um, I, I, you know, for maybe you can play more half court or work on more skill development at that young age. Uh, I think it'd be, I think it could present some other uh, injury issues, uh, having helmet, helmets on basketball players. And to me, it doesn't seem feasible, but you never know. we got helmets on kids for everything else these days. What season here? Going into uh, my third year here at College of the Redwoods as the head coach. Um, we, we won 14 games my first year. We won 18 games last year, so we're looking to improve on that. Uh, I think the most exciting thing maybe about, uh, besides our team, is, is our schedule this year. We have 10 home games, which we, we haven't, we've barely had that in the last two years combined. So we have five games in the first semester, five games in the second semester. So hopefully have some more consistency um, with the crowds instead of kind of waiting to see, or waiting, you know, till the end of the season and wait until it's a kind of a conference game. Looking at what you got for talent here, what do you think? I think it's, it's the most the, the best group we've had. I mean, I, I was able to say that to our team last year, that uh, that they can be better than the team the year before, and I'm I can say that to this team, and I think it, it holds true for both. I think if this team wins the conference, it will be the first time that we've been able to repeat in school history, and so I think uh, they have a chance to, to possibly be the best team in school history. Uh, and last year's team, I think, was about one game away from that. So I, we're looking to looking to improve. <laughs> we finna go to the, we finna go to the state, man. Number one, yeah, man. Yeah, that's okay. one. Hey, make sure we get a lot of fans coming yeah, out here. Yeah, make sure we got a lot of people coming out this year, you know, because this is gonna be a real exciting year. So, hey, and if y'all don't got, if y'all don't come, well, homie, we got the burner for y'all, man. I'm saying, keep that.